Hello, and welcome back to Might Magic 3, Isles of Terra. So yes, I'm not in Blackwind anymore. I am still going to go and finish that up. Um, but I wanted to, because the day is rolled and stuff like that, sort of plan out what I wanted to do for the rest of this episode, because um, clearing, finishing up Blackwind isn't going to take very long. So, um, went through, shuffled gear. Um, I am going to be swapping some armor, and I figured I would point it out because it is kind of a interesting upgrade. So right now, Katrina has been equipped with this diamond plate mail. She has an AC of 114. Uh, I am going to be swapping her to my brand new shiny dragon plate mail, which gives her a might of 157, at a cost of 15 armor class, bumping her down to 99. Um, that's because the dragon plate mail, uh, getting her might up to 157, she was at 119 or something like that, which gave her a plus 24. Now she's at uh, plus 32, which is a pretty beefy boost, and she still has a pretty darn high AC, as well as a boatload of hit points. So, yeah, uh, in terms of Septimus, I'm just going to be repairing his armor. And then with Renar, uh, he has the Force Chainmail, I'm going to give him the True Chainmail, because right now he has a might of 123, which is a plus 24. And if I swap this out to the True Chainmail, he goes down to might 100, but it still gives him a plus 24, and it bumps his accuracy up to 100 instead. So, yeah, uh, those are the only big gear upgrades. Um, the rest of the stuff I think I'm just going to be selling. I gave some other just sapphire cloaks and things like that just to generally bump up people's stuff. Um, I did debate giving the sapphire robes to Gandora, but I'm happy with her AC. And I really like the speed. Having her be able to consistently go first seems like a very good idea. So yeah, let's just sell some stuff. And then I am also going to go and hit the bank. Um, because, of course, we had... Um, oh, your backpack's full. Okay, fine. Uh, of course, we had a, a weak roll. And uh, I mentioned those heads in the last episode. Uh, the stone heads that ask for money and um, sorry just gonna sell this stuff but the heads that I found in the swamp I'm gonna finish clearing the swamp here first and find the rest of those heads mostly just so I can um, take advantage of that while I'm remembering because otherwise I'll forget so up to 900,000 gold now, and if we look here, uh, my party gold in the bank, I have uh, 13, 13 million uh, in the bank. So uh, 14 million once you tack on my party gold. So doing pretty okay as far as money is concerned. I just need to check, oh, it's only eight. I believe the bank does not open until nine. So we'll just pop back in here and just make sure I didn't forget to unload anything. Nope, she's still got her artifacts, that's fine. Uh, everything has been sold, so cool. Uh, now it should be nine o'clock and we'll go up to the bank. And now we're going to withdraw, I think five million should be plenty. That's 500,000. Take out 5 million, leave 8 million in. Um, won't touch the gems. Next, we're going to go back to Blackwind. So, let's believe your Lloyd's Beacon will take me back to where I was exploring. So, uh, let's head back in. And I'm just going to drop another real quick save here, just so I don't accidentally uh, teleport myself off to the arena again or something. Um, so the other thing is in the last episode, because of getting teleported to the arena and being on a time limit, I forgot to pick this up again. Um, uh, Oh, maybe I did still have it. 
Oh, no, there we go. Got it. <laughs> Just have to be facing the right way. Lots of round shields this time. Don't think any of these are things that I... Yeah, it's all steel and platinum and stuff. Which is, I mean, fine. But, um, let's face it, the reality is we have better. And let's just do a bunch of cure poisons. Okay. So, let's keep exploring Blackwind. since I assume the vast majority of them just poison you. Oh, and here is the other throne. A broken throne? Nothing happens. Um, but yeah, so I did double check and it, yeah, it gives precious pearls of youth and beauty, which... Oh, hello, Mr. Cloud. Uh, you drain spell points. But you don't completely drain spell points, so that's nice. Or maybe you're just not hitting, I'm not sure. Uh, let's do a... Incinerate, please, and thank you. Okay, what else is in here? Uh, more sparkling water from Anathema. Nine letters line the wall behind the ladder. The tenth letter would fit be the first in the watchword. Again, that's just the, the puzzle for um, for the dungeon, which we're not gonna not gonna be worrying about the dungeon just yet. Okay, just one bit left to. Do you have jump? Yes, you do. Put it that way instead. Saves me having to root around through my spells quite so much. Uh, and from here, want to jump that way. So yeah, I guess everything in here but the dinos is a bit of a joke. Lots and lots of piranhas, apparently. Must have been a respawn. Uh, my waters carry the most powerful enchantment in all the isles. Though the levy is costly, the reward is beyond compare. Two million gold placed in my fountain bowl will give the magic user who places it there all the spells in his discipline. Place the gold? No thank you. I have pretty much all the spells I want at this point. And here we have Blackwind the Spellbinder. Trickery beyond that of mortal man has locked my spirit in this keep that once housed my soldiery. Somewhere deep in the dungeon lies the answer. To release me from this curse, but I, in my present state, I am unable to break the spell. Will you do me the service of, the service of securing my deliverance? To the dungeon, and return to me when the solution you have found. Cool. Let's check out the rest of this. I don't think there's too much else exciting in Black Wind. Yeah, I think we have basically explored everything. Just double checking spell points. Okay, so with this in mind, I don't think I want to go and muck about on um, Blackwind, Blackwind's Island right now. Um, more just for the convenience of it. 
uh, those sorcerers are uh, still a real pain in the bat butt, and I can always come back here at some point and clear it out. I'll have to anyhow to uh, do the Blackwind dungeon, so yeah. Uh, so at this point, I think my plan is going to be go up to, I've got the wrong map open here, but go back up to the Evermores and Minotaur Marsh here and see if I can't find the rest of those heads, uh, the stone heads. So that's going to be the goal. Uh, finish exploring the Swamp Island so I can come back and do the the head down, or the well down here in the Forsaken Sands. So yeah, that's the plan for the rest of this episode. Um, with that in mind, let's do a town portal up to Swamp Town, kill some Sonic Ninjas. Is it worth spending the hour to go in just to clear junk out of my inventory? Probably. don't think any of these are things that I care about. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just pop into the shop real quick here, since I'm here anyhow, and sell some stuff. Cool. Ninjas woke up. Good for you, ninjas. And out we go. Um, let's do a levitate before I forget. And continue our explorations. Okay, so we're back down around Minotaur Marsh now, coming at it from the north this time. Let's see if I can't find the rest of those heads. Ah, I am Purveyor, and for one million gold I will remember you. Yes, I would like you to remember me, Purveyor. Thank you very much, sir. Ooh, something buried. Holy word. Go for it, Katrina. You're the only other person. Don't know if you have it or not, but if you didn't, you do now. Another... Ah, Soothsayer. Ah, uh, uh, 500,000 gold, I'll remember you. Something buried. Actually, I should be careful about digging stuff here. Oh gosh, got some, got some toys. Anything cool? Rod of Disintegration, Seething Gauntlets of Raising the Dead. Ah, uh, those might actually not be the worst thing in the world to hang on to. Give them to Helmuth. Um, what kind of gauntlets do you have? Rogue Gauntlets. Um, just because being able to cast Raise Dead, um, if both Katrina and Gandora go down, which is always a possibility, can't hurt. Um, everything else is junk. Probably not even worth carrying around. But yeah, I do need to be careful with digging in some of these holes. Because if I remember correctly, one of them spawns a minotaur. Okay, we've got another head. Betrayer. We do not want Betrayer to... Make the others forget us. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so I've now completely explored the... The Swamp Island over here, so let's head down. Oh, I need to do... thought I had Walk on Water still up, but evidently not. I guess, yeah, why would I? Day has passed. So let's fight our way through these werewolves again. And there is a particular well that I want to go to. Don't need to rest, thank you. We don't do no rest in here. Okay, so Vulture Rock. Let's zap you with a implosion, please, and thank you. And we will 
cure paralysis. Got him. Okay, so this is the well that... I, I think this is the well, at least. Um, but first things first, I want to make sure I have space in my inventory. Um, pearl kimono, that is. Some of the stuff isn't even worth carrying in order to sell. Uh, I mean, I guess really what it boils down to is I need to have space for one big treasure pickup, which I definitely do in Septimus here, so... Uh, okay, so all of those statues I went around to cost me two and a half million gold, or almost three million gold. Um, go to this well. Uh, a plaque on the wooden roof reads, The Well of Remembrance. Throw in a coin. And if you've donated to all of the... If you if you haven't donated, nothing happens. I think you saw that. But if you did donate, you get a whole bunch of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got, because it is all level 6. So Sapphire Slings, Velocity Battle Axe, uh, that's plus 30 speed, but it doesn't do a damage boost, so probably not. Blazing Hatchet uh, does plus 20 fire damage, uh, at least according to this, before Lootmeister's ridiculous buffs. Um, Diamond Quarterstaff, Sapphire Cudgel, Emerald Stiletto, Dyna Wisdom Tower Shield. Um, if I had somebody who could benefit from Intellect, and wanted a tower shield. Uh, diamond sling. Okay, so actually not that fantastic a pickup. Um, I do wonder... Blazing spear versus blazing hatchet. They're probably equivalent. I don't think Helmuth can use... Um, a hatchet. He's got the seething... Um, scimitar that is a step down from blazing. So honestly, this was actually kind of a kind of a sad pickup. Uh, even the slings, like the cold sling, does better, and the cryo sling does better. Warm, warm. Oh well, it's only money. Um, but yeah, you can do that over and over again if you really feel like grinding for grinding for gear. Uh, I did not make out swimmingly that time. At least I think you can. Yeah. Oh no, the well disappears. It's gone. That's a one-time thing. Um, cool. Okay. Well, a little disappointing, but that's okay. So after that, uh, now that I've finished that up, this is kind of a loose end sort of episode, I guess. Um, maybe what I'll do is head up to Dragon Tooth and turn in those skulls and then maybe explore those mountains. Um, as for longer term, what I'm going to need to start doing is... Um, I, don't, I don't think I want to train yet. Um, I, I want to see if I can do the caves, so maybe go up, do Cursed Cold Cavern first, and then do... Uh, the magic cavern down here. Uh, Dragon Cavern would kick my butt right now. I'll have to train before that, but I want to see if I can tackle those two now. Um, and then possibly do Tomb of Terrors. And again, uh, the Minotaur thing is going to have to wait, as will the pyramids, apparently, uh, as evidenced by running into those death agents before. So. Um, other thing I'm going to have to do is clear off the Isle of Fire. I might do that after... Maybe I'll do Cursed Cold next. I haven't done a dungeon in a while, or a cavern in a while. So maybe I'll tackle that next. But yeah, um, I'm babbling now. So let's head let's head up to uh, Dragon Tooth and do a little bit more of this... Tying up loose ends. Uh, so let's Town Portal 
to Swamp Town. Um, time is up. Nine in the evening. Is it gonna... If I can get there before it goes dark, I... Oh, no. Didn't get there before it went dark. That's no problem. Head out from Swamp Town, though, and... Just going to... I actually haven't cleared out this half of... Uh, the swamp either. And it should be kind of a joke at this point. Still, gotta be careful doing that. Wonder if I could take on a single Minotaur at this point. Probably not. It would probably kill me. Like, the reality is. Okay, let's head over to Dragon Tooth, though. And... I want to go this way. Oh, I can chew through the Black Knights pretty easily. All of them. You did not. Okay, so I think we're cleared out of artifacts of evil. Looks like. Get anything interesting out of any of the swamp stuff? Doesn't look like it. Marksman gauntlets. Oh, that's plus 10 accuracy. Do I want to actually replace this dead silver scythe? Eh, uh, whatever. She doesn't hit things anyhow. Okay. Exit is this way. Uh, yeah, I think I think for the rest of this episode, it'll end up being a bit shorter again here. I know the last one was a bit short, but this one as well. Um, I'm going to go and head over towards the Witch's Cavern here. Explore this island. Uh, iron chest. Helm with picks the lock. Find some stuff. Problem. Oh, gold ring. I'm gonna finish exploring up here. I think we'll call the episode at that point. So we found the witch's cavern, and everything above ground, at least, seems to be relatively easy to massacre, so. To speed things along, let's do uh, uh, just a dragon's breath. Fire! <laughs> Surprisingly tough to kill those things with magic. Interesting. Oh, crash. Crash. Getting a little cocky here, I should really... Uh, do some nature's cures. Those. Avalanches actually do a fair bit of damage. Okay, everybody's full up. Another chest. 
I don't know why she keeps getting hit. Ooh. Uh, the Fountain of Katrina. Found, uh, Warrior of the Great Sea. Drink its waters. Uh, sure. Oh, hey, skin's been magically toughened. Oh, cool. That's actually... Oh, that's a significant hit point boost. I'd forgotten about this well. Cool. That's something to remember. I uh, don't know if it's necessarily worth... Uh, avoids beacon slot. Like, ultimately, the, the spell points are always what you want to regenerate, not... Buffs have worn off. Let's just do a quick protection from elements against cold. Because... Okay, so we've completely explored this little island. I'm uh, just going to get back to the cave entrance here and do a quick Lloyd's Beacon. <laughs> So we'll set that there, and yeah, I think we're going to call the episode here. When I get back, I might go and unload some of this gear uh, in the interim. Just take a quick look, see if there's anything interesting. Kind of doubt it. Icy Steel Flamberge of Antidotes. Uh, what's the bonus on Icy? Not that great. Otherwise, it'd be cool. Um, Ebony Studded Jerkin. Yeah, nothing too exciting here. So, I will catch you guys in the next episode then. Until then, cheers.